Hello. Happy, happy 4th of July. Let's see if notifications go out on a holiday. I don't know. Maybe they take a holiday and they don't send out notifications. We'll see. But I'm super excited to play in this palette. So, oh, I need to grab my Dream Dreamer palette too. Hi, Jan Hi, Janet. Hi, Alexandria. I tried to mesh both your guys' names together and that wasn't working. Happy 4th of July. Yay. We should just do cowbell just because it's 4th of July. Hi, Liam. How are you? What did I do with my cowbell? Oh. Happy 4th of July. Hi, Sue. Yay. Notifications work on 4th of July. Woo. I was hoping that it would. That's fine. LOL. <laughs> oh, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot I mean hi I know <laughs> be nice Alexander I'm just kidding hold on I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a caffeinated beverage because I need one okay sorry guys I need a caffeinated beverage right now okay so we are going to do some swatches and some comparisons with the Celestial Witch from Electrum Cosmetics that comes out on Friday. I did take some screenshots of what she posts. As far as the details, um, I added it to one of my live streams, but I am literally going to just read off what she put on her post. That way there's no confusion and I don't mess things up with my goldfish brain. I know... It's pretty amazing. I took some pictures and that holographic packaging just sings to my soul. Ditto, I've been cleaning all day. Oh yeah, I've already swatched, so my fingers have been in this, so yeah. But you guys gotta see it. And the pan doesn't give it justice. The pans don't give it justice. Okay, so we're going to swatch so you can see the beautifulness on my eyes and on the skin. Okay, um, okay, I'm just going to read this off. If anybody misses this, they'll just have to go back and listen to all the deets at the beginning. Um, we've got a, several people in here, but not everybody that I don't think will actually show up later on. So... Hello, Lisa. How are you doing? Okay, so we have, here's how Friday is going down. I'm just reading off of your thing. So this is how I don't mix up things. I just read exactly what you write. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, so launch of the palette is and new single release is July 7th at 1 p.m. EST. The singles will be available to add to your cart on Friday morning and checkout will be disabled until one o'clock EST. At 1 p.m., she'll be making the Celestial Witch available and the cart available for checkout. She is doing this to make it fair to anyone, to everyone, to be able to grab the palette. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to DM her. <laughs> And no, I'm just kidding. You can DM me. You know that. But anyways, uh, if I can answer it right. Um, oh, and the palette is limited. However, she's not putting a cap on the singles. So you do not have to worry about them selling out right away. The pre-order ends on Sunday, July 9th at 5.30 p.m. EST. You have your alarm set? Woo-woo, Janet. Yay. You're going to be blown away with this palette okay so just saying all daydreamer and sea witch pre-orders yeah so we're talking now about the daydreamer i took this just to give you guys information so the daydreamer and sea witch pre-orders for pre-order of the week of 626 have been dropped off at the post office remember there will be a holiday delays for the fourth of july she's getting a ton of dms about the celestial witch returning 
if this palette sells out on Friday, it will not be back until the end of the year for pre-order. She has a small amount available. So alarms are important. And if my goldfish brain remembers, I'll be also reminding you guys. And then on top of that, go follow Lisa. Make sure that you're following her page. She posts a lot on her stories. So make sure that you have your notif notification bell on for her stories so that you can see what's coming up, you know, coming up, going on and what she's talking about. So, okay. All right, guys. Hi, Justice. Hey, you finished your walk. Good deal. Okay. If America didn't have its little tip, if Britain, Australia wouldn't be, have been chosen as dumpy ground for comics. Oh, we're getting into some deep talk soon. <laughs> oh my goodness, how'd that get brought up? <laughs> Whoa, did I miss some chat up here? I don't know. Oh my goodness, you're cracking me up, Sue. Okay, be right back. All right taking a sip of my caffeinated beverage. Hi, Renee. I've been binge watching your channel. I missed your face so, so, so much. If you guys don't know, I went to Washington to visit my son and uh, we were gone for two weeks and I got to meet Renee and Tish and I just miss them so much. Hey, I chose to lie. I chose to live in America. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, Sue. All right. All right. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and we're gonna get into the swatches. What I got here. What I've noticed is I thought I had a lot of holochromes, because these are goodness holochrome shades that she hand makes all she hand makes and creates every single shade. And so this girl works hard. Okay. So y'all, what I'm noticing is I really don't have a whole lot of hollow chromes. I do have some because I wanted to compare. So, but I do have some as I was digging and digging, but that way you can just kind of compare against maybe some other brands that you may own. You know, are they the same? Are they not the same? You know, I'll tell you about the texture of the shadows between the two and all that stuff, just so that you know. Waiting for my highlighter palette. I know. And that's when that's one of the ones, the weeks of the 626, I believe, or no. Yeah, they were, oh, but, but I don't know. But I don't know if yours got in there before that or if that was an after. So don't listen to me. I don't know. Okay. So probably after, I'd imagine. Okay, yeah, no. She says no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> week of July 17th. You're in the second batch. Okay. All right, so I have some brands here that we can compare next to. I have her palettes out here. Um, yes, I am back. I made some sales on Macari trying to print labels. Whoop, whoop. Alexandra, we love sales on Macari's, right? Like I'm earn a little extra money to go shopping for makeup when I do that. So I get you, girl. I get you. Renee, thank you for your order. Yes, Renee and Tishy both. They just could not resist whenever I showed them the Daydreamer palette. Because I'm I'm like, go put your fingers in it and try it on. Like, there's just not anything like it in your collection, I guarantee you. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, yay. I just saw your message. You got your money refunded, Renee. Yay. Okay. So, okay. So those are all the deets on the upcoming release of this palette. Um, so again, I'll remind people deets are in the beginning. Just go back and watch that part. So I don't have to keep repeating that part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, I'm going to swatch this palette live with you because that you guys all know y'all know me for my live streams with new releases so that you can see it live with me. You can see the application with me, and you can see the swatches with me, so that you know right along with me 
on a review on a palette. So it's not an edited video where I'm blending, blending, blending and coming back and being like, oh, this is the most amazing review ever, which I would never do anyways. But that's why I like to do lives with new releases. You guys get to see it in real time with me. Okay. So let me see here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to... I'm going to try a di hmm. see I have her palettes because I want to use her um, her mats but I need some I need to order some mats from from you Lisa because my blues like I I use blues, purples, and greens so much because that's kind of the mermaid-esque that I feel like all my looks start to look too similar, if that makes sense, when I start out with that base. Oh, Renee, thank you. I didn't even know you could give super chats. I had all my ads turned off, so I didn't think that you could super chat me because I turned off all my ads. But thank you, Renee. Oh, you get cowbell. Thank you, Renee. So, see, I have a lot of purples and greens, and I feel like I do that all the time with my Electrum. So, I like to keep my mats the same. So, I need to get some different colors of mats. And I'm so I'm going to pull, this time only, I'm going to use somebody else's mats, but I, I need to order more mats from her. Um, but I need to, yay, cowbell. Everybody loves cowbell. Um, so I'm going to pull some, some mats. I, I, I'm going to try to do like, since I have red on, I think I'm going to do a red with these shimmers, which will be really interesting, but why not? Right. So yeah, we're going to do that. Um, I got to find red eyeshadows first. I think I have like, yeah, I don't know who these are, but I'm just going to probably use these. I think they're like coastal sins or something. I don't know. All right. So let's, let's watch these first. Okay. So I'm going to go down the rows here. Like I said, I've already done my swatches and pictures and all that stuff. So here is Cosmos. These, okay. Her formula is different on the shadows, which, you know, when you're hand making them, they're like each shadow may be a different consistency. They're not going to be like this one big mass pour, like what they would do, you know, if it was manufactured or whatever. So some of hers are, they come off a little flaky, but they are butter. Like they just, they go on so smooth. They don't flake off. They're just, they're amazingness in, in the pans. Okay. And on your eyes, but so here we go. We're going to go with Cosmos first and I'm just going to swatch them on the back of my hand. And guess what guys, when I post my pictures, I did that on purpose because I wanted you to know there was there. <laughs> look, come on. I, I shouldn't even showed this to you until I was done talking because this is going to be distracting. Okay. So I did that because I wanted you guys to know I'm not putting on any any base, none, no base, no tacky base, no nothing. When I do my swatches, they are bare skin. So no base. I am not messing with my camera's saturation. Not happening. You guys are get the only thing I do is different lightings. So the same thing that it would be on your eyes. So you're going to get the bright lighting, you're going to get natural indoor lighting, you're going to get outdoor lighting in with a flash. I also do with a flash. So, but no special lighting as far as like different colored lighting. I'm not doing, I'm not messing with any of my camera settings. Well, I don't have like the special cameras and stuff anyways. I use my laptop. You all are seeing my face. This is my laptop. There's no special nothing. Okay. That's why when I do my, um, my pictures, because there's been a lot of controversy with this stuff. So we're going to talk about it for real quick. Okay. <laughs> don't mess with my settings. When I'm on Instagram and I'm making more like 
pick I don't, that's not what's the word I'm looking for like um more editorial pictures yes I have a skin blurring I'm doing up close shots I am not showing foundation I don't review foundation on my Instagram okay you come here for my face and you get to see it all done right in front of your eyes you go to there for ed editorial type pictures and a lot of people are against that but I it's what I'm doing if you don't like it I don't know I'm not everybody's cup of tea but that's how I'm doing it so I mean if you go on ColourPop okay I'm just gonna pick on ColourPop because they're always the one I pick on but if you go to ColourPop and you see any pictures that they use in their ads or whatever else they are all not, I'm not heavily, I do a skin blurring filter. That's it. I don't do bigger eyes and bleh, I don't blow out my face. It's my face. Okay. I just smooth out all of this because it's editorial. Okay. That's it. That's it. I don't mess with my settings. I don't sit there and go, oh, I'm going to make this. Now, I do use a magnification on up close in certain lightings, and that will make it really bright, really close. And those are some of my favorites um, when I do my up close eye look. You really get a good look, you know, up close. Getting that out of the way, because there's been a lot of talk. And and if people don't like to do that editorial style type photos on IG, that's fine. That is okay. That's all right, too. I like those pictures, too. But this is just the way I choose to do it, okay? So we can all just do what we like to do and stay doing what we like to do. <laughs> okay, so this is Cosmos. And just come on now beautiful. All right. And then this, I'm going to mess up these words. Okay. I came back from Florida with hand-me-down laptop. Woo-woo! Yay, Sue! Yes, very pretty. Okay. Vesper, Vespertine. Maybe. <laughs> Vespertine. Okay. Now, we're going to I do have this to show you guys because my husband brought this out and he's like, try this. And because sometimes on camera, it doesn't come across, but you can see all the holographic a little bit better. It's these lights in combination. Oh, it's just the beautifulness is not showing up as much. Oh, all the little hollow little particles in there. Just stunning. Just yumminess, okay? Oh, absolutely in person. It's just hard on camera to pick it up. It's because of the reflections. Yeah. And I have taken this like out in natural lighting and you can see it. It's the camera. It's just, you know, when you're live and you've got a, oh my goodness, you might be able to see it even more. So there, like even here, you can see what's left over on my finger after swatching it because it just looks yummy gorgeousness. Oh, I wish it would pick up. Hold on. We're going to stand up. We're going to, because in person it shows like crazy without anything, just like this. It's just It's just so hard to show it. It is the brightness. Let me do this. All right. We're going to get difficult here. Let's turn off. Let's keep shutting off. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Let's skip a bit.
well. <laughs> oh, maybe back here. Maybe I'm too close. Nope. Oh, shoot. I just wish you could see. It's beautiful, but you don't see what I see. And it's driving me insane. Oops. No. Nope, it's not the lights. It's the camera. It's the camera. Well, one day, maybe I'll have a camera. I don't know. I don't even know if it would show. In person, that's all that freaking matters. But it's just so freaking stunning. Like for you guys, like it shifts in color. So it goes from purple. There's like a, almost like a yellowish orange shift to it. And then even like, oh gosh, maybe a green even. It's kind of like a lavender undertone. And then, see, you guys aren't even getting that. Well, you kind of are. Yeah, you are. And then, oh, there, you can see it on my finger better. That's just all over in it. It's so, so pretty. Just stunning. Mm -mm -mm. So pretty. How funny. Okay. All right. One more uh, on this row, and that's Moonchild. And this, oh, it has kind of that white base, but when you share, oh my gosh, I just love this. It's just like a pout. And it has like this orange and pink shift to it. Maybe some gold. It's so freaking stunning. So pretty. Okay. Estella. Okay. Estella is a shade that I don't own. Y'all know my collection for the most part. I haven't showed it the whole collection, which I'm working on the declutter thing. But Estella, by far, is a shade that I've never seen or owned before, which, bravo, because I have a lot of shadows, <laughs> Lisa. So Estella is gorgeous, okay? It is this light orange gold green shift. It is stunning. I've never done a shade like Estella. Yeah, it's it's very unique and it is <laughs> it looks it looks beautiful and different in the pan, but when you go to swatch it, it takes it's just you're like you weren't expect it like totally catches you off guard. <laughs> It's like, yes, it's like an orangey peach, yellow, gold, green shift. <laughs> it is freaking amazing. Let me show you on my finger. You're just mainly getting the orangey peach gold shift, but there's a green. There you got the greens. Oh. <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you. You just get one thing from Electrum, and I'm not saying this because she's here, because I talk about her on my membership lives as well, and she's never around to hear it. <laughs> but y'all that are here know that I talk about Electrum quite a bit because I'm very impressed, but, and she's cheaper than a lot of other uh, places that make these holochromes and everything else, but um, the quality is amazing if you just buy one thing. Just buy one thing and you'll get hooked. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't do it until you buy one thing and then you're not going to be able to stop. <laughs> Renee says, I can concur to that in person as well because when I saw her, I let her take this little beauty, which is a, a highlighter palette, but it's definitely dual 
eyeshadow highlighter. Just, <laughs> it's just, I took this on my trip and I wore it all the time. You haven't, you haven't stopped since I send it. I know, right? <laughs> Me either. Okay, sorry. Caffeine time. Mm hmm. When I first got it, Renee, I did a full face of just everything out of this palette. And it was even had on my lips, my highlighter, my eyes. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. All right. Next one is Cosmic Power, which is a really pretty one, too. It kind of has like a mint green, purple. Even in there, you have like a green, green, like if you're looking in the mirror, um, it has kind of, oh, it's just stunning. So, so pretty. And then you have those little holographic little sparkles in there. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Oh, back here. There we go. You can get that shift. Uh oh, stinking pretty. Is it your favorite highlighter formula? Yes. Um, I love my um, collective cosmetic ones. But what I would say is different with this highlighter palette. Um, this is by far my favorite highlighter palette. For my single highlighters, I do still love my collect collective cosmetic ones, but the difference between the two is that these are more shifty and they're more smooth, where collective has a little bit more glittery sparkle. So these sparkle, these are just blinding. And, but the other ones are more glittery, probably. And I do like a glittery highlight. A lot of people don't, but I do. I like it all. So um, that's one of my, so, and her formulas are different as well, like between each one. So, yeah. So they're different, but yeah, this is like, this is what I took on my trip because <laughs> I can't seem to put this one down. <laughs> yes, you like she blends them and blends them and blends them until they get really super smooth. Oh, yeah. And honestly, also what makes this one even more so, and I think Renee got to see that as well, is that I use this for highlighter and you can blend any of these out into a highlighter if you do it like some of these are really intense so you would have to really just be very light with it but what I love about this and why it is my favorite is because I can also wear it as eyeshadow and it is stunning as eyeshadow so being multi-purpose just pushes it up there to the top so anyways okay so there's that one. Spellcaster is next. Yeah, Renee, I know. Okay, so Spellcaster is a mint, and I love mint shades. Oh, I love mint shades. So Spellcaster. This is so freaking pretty. Oh. That is just freaking stunning. Look at that. I like to show you what's left over on the fingers so you can kind of see like the shifties and everything. Oh, it's so freaking amazing. Yes, very pretty. Okay, just a phase. That is my shade right there. <laughs> I know you just, I just watched you do a look with a minty green too. It looks good on you. Okay. Just a phase. Let me 
Renee has a channel, you guys, too. So if you haven't went and checked her out, please do, because she's amazing. Just a phase, kind of a pink with an orange shift. So pretty in a gold. There is a little reflection of green as well. So, so stinking pretty. Moon magic. Mm, it is magic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get into these shades a little too much. I was just like, I know it's holiday, but I can't wait any longer. <laughs> Woo love that one too. Oh, you're welcome. Um, oh, moon magic. Moon magic is magic. And the other thing uh, I'd like to add, oh, this is just so pretty. Okay, let's see if we can get the, okay, you can see the shift, but you're not seeing the holographic goodness. There's the holographic goodness. Hello, 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 hello. So stinking pretty. So pretty. Oh, look at that. Look. Can can we just stop already? Look at that. I don't think I have anything in my collection that looks like that either. Look at that. That looks like a pastel rainbow went across my freaking hand. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Is anybody else so geeky about shadows? As I am. I just the little things in life make me really happy. I could look at that all day. <laughs> take my bank card, please. Take it. Oh. Moon magic. Okay, he. I might be. <laughs> Janet, you are. <laughs> When I first met Janet, I'm like, this girl is a lot like me. <laughs> when is that available? Uh, Friday. <laughs> Friday. Very small, limited quantities. Okay. I read the deets at the beginning of this. So people are putting their alarms on for this. This one, small quantities. It will be back, but not until the end of the year. So if you're one in going to be one of those jump and get it kind of things. Hi, Thora Blast. If I could have your name, that would be great. I love to call people by their names. It is amazing. That is for sure. Okay. And then mystical. Mystical is beautiful as well. <laughs> There's mystical. Goodness gracious. This is beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yes, you guys have got to get. And that's what that one looks like. Oh, so so pretty. It's like this one is its sis this one is its sister, but this one is way more holographic beautifulness. This one also has more I, you can't see it, but it has more green and blue shift to it. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Like that. It's more green, and then it has this blue shift to it. Oh, it's so pretty. I need these in my life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't say that. We don't need anything, so let's be technical. We don't need it, but we sure in the heck do want it. <laughs> right? Right. I would say so. Okay. I think I'm going to leave these on my hand real quick because I wanted to, um, actually I'm taking them off doing this on the whim. Um, I'm going to do finger swatches to do comparisons. And then if I want to swatch them all the way out, I will. Um, but I'm going to compare to some other companies. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is not to go, oh, this is, you know, this is better than this. Da, 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 da. I'm not doing that. What I am doing is showing you 
other stuff that you have in your collection. Because a lot of times, you know, if we are um, very um, addicted to buying shadows, <laughs> let's just be real, um, you just don't know, you know, is this like this? Is this not? I've been doing a lot of swatch comparisons here lately. You can see if, you know, this is something that um, does look different than what you have in your collection, that kind of thing. Um, what I do know is that I love the way that her formula is. Um, it stands out from all the other formulas that I have. So um, that is first and foremost. And that's the kind of thing that can be a preference. And it also can be something that you're not really going to know when you're looking at a palette until you dip your fingers in it. And then you're like, Ooh, this is because I tell you guys that all the time about my, um, Cleona jeweled multicrims because they just feel like silk and a lot of hers feel like silk as well. So that's why I'm like, mm, until you dip your fingers in this, you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Hi, Jen. Happy 4th of July. Hey, Okay, so let's go with what I pulled out first. And it was just one single shadow that I got recently. The sparkles are real all over my hands. And this is, I cannot stand it when companies do not mark their pans when they sell singles. It is one of my pet peeves, and it almost makes me want to just get rid of it, <laughs> but I'm not. This was a gift, and I'm so thankful for it, but it just, it just like, why? Why would you put your information on a pouch and not put it on the pan? Because if I go to show it ever again, I will not know where this came from. And yes, I could take time to make a label or get a Sharpie. And sometimes the Sharpie works, sometimes it comes off. So we've already been there. But when you're buying something, you just want a label or some writing on the back of it. I don't care. Put a little sticker dot. I don't care. Just put the name of it and who you are on the back of it. <laughs> okay, now my rant's over. Um... Okay, how was the rest of your trip? Oh, it was good. It was uh, eventful. <laughs> that would be a good word for it. On my Patreon, I did a full um, explanation. And um, my husband helped keep me situated with the whole story. But yeah, it was eventful. But it was fun. And it was good. And it was a great time with my son. I was super excited to see him. I hadn't seen him in years and um, get some, spend some time with Renee and Tish. It was so much fun. Okay. So this is Kayama Cosmetics. And honestly, I don't even know what the name of this is on the pouch. It says number 11. So I'm guessing it's number 11. I don't know. It is confusing. Okay. It is very pretty. Um, it does have the holographic shift in it. And let's see if we have anything that's similar. I'm going to do it. It's not going to be super similar, but we're going to do. I know it's a huge duh. <laughs> Sticker on the shadow would help in reviewing. Yeah, exactly. So when I do it, sometimes I'm like on purpose. I'm like, I don't know who this is from. <laughs> I don't have a sticker, but it's a pretty shadow. It's a shame. I don't know who this is from. <laughs> so if you want to know who it's from, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm kidding. Hi, Ava. Welcome. I have two new people here. And just so you know, we do cowbell for new people, for super chats, for new memberships and things like that. And everybody, it's became a thing. Okay. It's became a thing on my channel. So new person, number one, 
and new person number two. Thank you for coming. There's a, a big story between, behind the whole cowbell thing. It's a funny story. Another time, another place. All right. So I'm going to compare it to Moonchild. Oh, thank you, Ava. Appreciate it. Um, this, as you can tell, this is like more of a thinner formula. This is a thicker formula. And I'm telling you, hi, Andrea. Um, happy 4th of July. Yes, to everyone. I don't have creasing with her shadows. Now, I am not everybody's eyeballs either. Some people have dry skin, oily skin, all the skins. Okay, so I'm not saying it's not going to crease on it, not crease on her. Never crease on me. So that's all I got to say about me. I've had others that have, but this one does not. So, okay. That moon. Is that what it is? No, that this is the best. I said moon magic. I'm swatching Vesper team. Vesper team. In comparison. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I can see through this one. And I'm going to take another dip, okay? And I'm not, I'm just wanting, I'm comparing for the first time with you guys. So, just good, relaxing, right? Good evening today. Good. Okay, so this is the Kayama. I'm going to put in a few more swatches on there. Uh, I'll let you decide. <laughs> but yeah, that's the difference between Kayama, Hollow, and hers. Okay, let's wipe that off. Yes, beautiful blue. All right, let's wipe that one off. That's Kayama in comparison to Electrum. Let me do uh, JD Glow. Let's do JD Glow. I do like JD Glow, you guys. So I'm not going to lie there. I do like me some JD Glow. Do. I do, I do. And I got a couple of new ones in here. I haven't even got in, in the deal. But... Uh, in comparison, just on first little swipe of this is the JD Glow. Um, oh, it swatches pretty good. But the feeling of the actual shadow itself when I pulled it up. Um, and I'm doing swipe number two, actually. So there's number two swipe of... I'm back to beautiful blue. Yay! Um There is, um, what was I trying to say? When I touch the shadow, a little more roughness to it, but it swatches well, okay? No, um, and it, it just depends because I have ones that are kind of all over the place with JD Glow as well. This is just a phase, so I'm going to, you know, the back, the, 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 um, the shifts of these are going to be different. This is just one swatch of just a phase versus two or three swipes on this one. So one swipe, two or three swipes. So pretty cool to see the difference because I have not done this before, mainly with this palette. But And then I'm going to do Moon Magic just for the fun of it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> there, I'm sorry. But there is something about moon magic that just makes me happy every time I see it swatched. Oh, my goodness. And then that's Electrum, Electrum, and then JD Glow. Here, I'm going to do, just for the fun of it, I'm going to do one more swipe of J JD Glow. I think I did two. So let me do three swipes. I'm just going to put it on thicker and try to build it up, you know. So there's the JD Glow. Third swipe. My cat have get new cat, kitten, boy, little. Oh. Hmm. 
All right. Okay. Let's see who's in here. Hold on real quick. All right. Okay. So there's a that. Sorry. Got that on there. All right. Then let's compare a different color. So that's the JD Glow one is Aurora. Aurora. And I have a couple more over here that I want to try out and compare. I have Luna by JD Glow. It's kind of a dry formula. That's what I but when you get it on your finger, it's not, it doesn't feel dry. It feels more silky. So that's JD Glow. Okay. So, but it is a drier formula whenever you're picking it up. Thank you, Ava. And then all right. So that's the JD Glow. And I did two swipes. Okay. I went back in and I got a second swipe. So that's two, two swipes of JD Glow. Let me see which one does that. Oh, let me do the mystical. Okay. And I'm just going to do the first swipe. If I want to add more, I will. But so far I haven't had to add any extra to her swipes. They just keep, keep, keep going with, with pigment. Yeah, that's one swipe of Mystical. Gotten filtered. Oh no, what happened? What did you say? You said Debbie. I see that. It says Debbie and, oh, I guess, and then I guess my comment got filtered. I didn't see it get filtered. Usually it'll come up if it gets filtered. Okay. So if you can, write it again. <laughs> but yes, very pretty. I'll, I'll go ahead and put a second one of Mystical. I think that it's just as pigmented as the other one, but I'll just put another little swipe just to even it out. I said a kind of a naughty word oh, regarding <laughs> how yummy the eyeshadows look. Well, that might have been why they filtered it. I don't know. Hi, James Blake, 1988. You're not new here. I don't think. I think you just changed your name, your uh, thing, your YouTube name. Okay, I'm going to take those off. But I think you're the same person I know. If you're new here, let me know because you get a little welcome. <laughs> okay. So, all right. I'm going to put the JD Glow away because we kind of got that whole idea. Um, the other two brands that I have is I have uh, Glam Shop. Glam Shop has ho hollow um, shades. And then, I don't know why shades was so difficult to get out of my brain. Makeup with glitter, hey, prints. Okay. All right. Let's do, let me see which hollow. I want to do probably Moon Magic. I think I have in Vesperteen. These hollow shades. Cosmic Power. Yeah, let's do these two see what we have in did I mix those up I think I did okay don't want to mix the colors but let me put a couple of swatches with those two shades and then I'm going to take some of the glam shop and put them next to it so so pretty words are hard they sure are Okay, 
So we have Vespertine in the Moon Magic. So we have Moon Magic and Vespertine. And then I have this one from Glam Shop called, hmm, if you know, this is a Polish brand. Way more expensive than Electrum Cosmetics as well. Um, this one is called Hollow Effect. Hollow Effect. And we'll put that one. Let's see. Didn't quite think that one through. On the side here. See, it's just not picking up there. You can kind of see the hollow a little bit better there. It just looks silver to you guys. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I hate that. Natural light would really show it much better. But that is the one from Glam Shop. And I'll probably just compare it to Vespertine. There's Vespertine. And this is a Polish brand, like I said, much more expensive to order from. I, I, it's probably cheaper if you, you order from Poland, but um, these are very expensive. Less expensive to go through Electrum. The Glam Shock Shop one is thick. Um, it, is, it is thicker than like your JD Glow for sure. I would say it is closest to what Electrums feels like, even whenever you're um, swatching them, for sure. They're super creamy, um, and so is hers. And so, not super creamy, not like the creamy where it's just going to move around everywhere, because it's not like that, because once you put it on, it stays put. Yeah. Yeah. But they're both a thicker formula for sure. Okay. And I'm going to swatch another one from Glam Shop next to this one. Just to, this is another hollow. It's kind of a pinky one. Looks like this here. But definitely thicker. These are both thicker than your JD Glows. I just really wish you guys could get that hollow. Dang it. So Electrums are here. And then your Glam Shops are here. But you still got more reflection in the Electrums. For sure. The shift. Okay, and we're going to have to slow Ava down a little bit. I'm going to ask you to please slow down a little bit. It's more like you're spamming my comments. And so if, if you would, please slow down the comments because I'm not going to be able to catch what everybody is saying. If you would slow down. If not, we will have to put you in timeout. <laughs> Okay. All right. And I think I have Renee here. If I don't have Renee here, then I can do it as well. So anyways. All right. One more brand. And to compare to. And then that's it. That's all I have in hollows in my collection. So um, is Quicksand. Quicksand Cosmetics is a new company that I just discovered. That just came out. And I did just get a code with them as well. <laughs> they they contacted me and asked me if I would want a, a code with them uh, right before. Actually, here recently. So <clears throat> I had showed them. <coughs> I'm sorry. I had showed them before. <coughs> and I really do enjoy their shadows. They're very pretty. Um, and I didn't realize that they were hollows until I looked again. And so I wanted to compare them. Okay. So she has like, a like this one is kind of like a reddish one. 
and these are drier so definitely drier and not as much it it isn't that it's because i need to drink my i'm dry i'm talking too much okay yeah i know water would be better but i need caffeine so we're doing this <laughs> Thank you, Ava. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sue, how did you guess? <laughs> okay, so this one here, it is a drier formula. Quicksand is a drier formula, but it is smooth. And there's some shift to it. I would say not near as shifty as, yeah, well, this one's, I don't know. I'm going to swatch a couple of quicksands and then we will, yes, water, water will help better. Yes, I do know, but the caffeine helps me. <laughs> okay, definitely, definitely a drier formula. Night and day different dry versus more mm, creamy is what hers feel like. Okay, I'm just going to swatch this whole quad. How about that? Um... I would say these take a little bit more to build up as well than the Electrum. I do not have a code with Electrum. She doesn't do codes. But I, you know, you guys know that I'm going to tell you, no matter if I got code, don't got code, get it myself, don't get it myself, whatever it is, I'm going to tell you just the way it is. Okay, so this is the whole quad for quicksand and it is holographic all of them have those little holographic sparkles in it but i would say that it's definitely not as uh i'm gonna swatch these underneath it but it's just not as impactful i guess is the word i mean it's it's beautiful i like it but like that just is like, pow, hit you in the face. And I like hit you in the face, you know, you know, you know, you know. Thank you, Renee. We need to quit spamming the chat. That would be great. No spam, no spam. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> well, it's spam. It's, you know. We ask nicely here, and then if you just can't, then we have to we have to take care of business. Business. Okay, so anyways, both beautiful. These have tons of sparkle in them. These you'll like the Electrum if you like a more in your face, shiny, glowy eyeshadow, and then you would like the quicksand more if you like more of a subdued and it's pretty and it's shifty and in person you can see the um the hollow but what it what to me it is is it's more of like your i don't know it just it's just not mm. I don't know how to explain it. More every day, maybe. I would probably wear this more every day. And this is more like, I, I wear this every day. So it's just so, what most people would wear every day is what, what I should say. And then, then you know, I, I do. I switch it up. But like, I don't know. Just if you like an impactful <laughs> shadow, there's, that's this. Okay. All right. Let's move on. All right, and I haven't done Moon Child, and I know it's not like what is on my hand, but I'm going to do Moon Child because I haven't compared it to anything. And actually, I should grab out a Terra Moon because the Moon Child reminds me just like a Terra Moon. Uh, one of the shifters of the Terra Moons, like oh, they glow, they glow, love, and they glow. Okay. That's the way, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. I know, right? That's me too, <laughs> me too. 
I blocked her in the beginning. It was too much. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching out for me. Yeah, Tara Moon is what you thought of too. Okay, I'm going to pull one out so you can see. Okay, and then I'm going to do the spellcaster. I am glad I can comment now. <gasps> Why couldn't you comment before? You've never tried JD Glow? Did somebody accidentally time you out? <laughs> it's not you, Angela, in Alexandria, or are you um, busy still? Oh my goodness, I love this spellcaster. Oh, I'm probably getting a little too much into these shadows. Look at that spell cast. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying these are bad. Okay, so please don't think it that way. These are good. These are really pretty, gorgeous little shadows. But then you do that. Do you see what I'm? Do you just? Do you see what? Do you, Do you see? So you just see it for yourself. Maybe this isn't your thing. Then this would be your thing. But this, if this is your thing, this is your thing, you know. But there's the difference. <laughs> and they're all holographic, even though you can't see it in this kind of lighting. They're all, they got the holographic little sparkles all the way through it. It's not a glitter. It's like a mica glitter. It's not a glitter. Okay, so don't be scared. <laughs> it's not a glitter. It's like a mica particle. And it's holographic and it's gorgeous. Stunning. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, let's just get these on my eyes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with, oh no, Terra Moon, Terra Moon. Let me do that. Let me do that first. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. Uh, the other person messed it. Oh, right. Right. Sorry. That's why I, you know, I tried to be as friendly and welcoming to anybody that comes in. But if you're spamming, because you know what I found? I don't ever get spam. But if somebody is like, I don't know if it's like other companies or I don't know, but it's, it's, sometimes it's like out of jealousy. Like somebody don't like who I'm showing, like it pops up who I'm showing or whatever. And then it's just like, like I get attacked and it's like, mm, we probably should stop. Even if I, you know, whatever. <laughs> Be good businesses. I don't know what it is, businesses. I'm just making stuff up. But it just kind of, like, you can kind of tell. Like, I don't know. It only happens certain times. You know what I mean? So we try to put two and two together of what that what it is okay this is Terra moon's you europa yeah europa okay so let me let me re-swatch hi tanner my son's here hey and that reminds me <laughs> thanks janet you see these flowers right here my son was shopping and he surprised me with those flowers. He bought them and then he brought them to me after we were leaving the shop. And he's like, these are for you, mom. And I was like, mm -hmm. make me cry. I love them so much. I had them in my bedroom, but I was like, I want them in the background so everybody can see them. So I twisted some of them around. Do you like what I did with them, Tanner? Yeah, it was super sweet. Yeah, I know. I know. And I was going to miss your guys' comments um, because of that. So I'm glad that we had to put a stop to that. Okay. So my Terra Moon is super creamy. I'm gonna, I might have got too much on my... I might have got too much on my on my hand. Like I swatched the whole backside of my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a dork. I have three boys and one girl, and I hope oh gifts never stop. I know I can't ever get. It. I just can't get enough of it for sure. Okay, so that's Terra Moon. Like I said, Europa. Europa. And here is Moonchild. Here, should I make this one just as big? 
just to be fair, <laughs> cover the rest of my back of my hand. Let's do it. Because, uh, you know, eyeshadows are fun. I'm just saying. Mm, look at that. Look at that glow. Can you see the glow? Lisa, you're an artist. Okay. Just saying. Can you not just look at the glow all day? <laughs> it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay. We're done. We're done. I know. I would paint myself with that moon child. Okay. I would totally do that. Can I get a big, like, that would be fun. Can I just paint my whole, I mean, I wouldn't video that or anything, but I would. That's a color. Okay. All right. And I'd be glowing. I would be like an alien. It would be so cool. <laughs> oh, the glow. I don't know if I should do red or not, you guys. I'm kind of like, mm, should I do red? I'm not a big red eyeshadow fan, but that was Moonchild in this Moonchild. Mm -hmm. I know. That's moon child. Is that what you're talking about? Come on. Okay. There. Okay. I'm just saying this. There's very, very few times that I swatch. I, there, there's a handful. But times where you swatch and it just makes you happy. And this is it. I'm having my happy time. Okay. Happy. All right. So, should I do red? I don't know. I'm second guessing myself. It would be cool to use Moonchild with a red eyeshadow look. Mm, now I'm thinking, and Moon Magic. Moon Magic. Okay, we're going to do red. Let's go with my first thought. Um, me too, Thoroughblast. What did Thoroughblast say? Oh, the glow. I want to bathe in multichromes. Same, same girl, same. So the red. Hi, Starla. Hey, girl. You snuck in here on me. Okay, let's go. I got these. I'm going to do probably red and maybe, maybe even a little bit of black to, or maybe the darker red to kind of, I don't know going to play. Okay. You know what? Sometimes whenever I'm like, eh, I don't know what I'm doing, why I'm going to do these colors. And sometimes it's the best things that I've, like looks that I've came up with. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I did that. So let's just keep rolling with it. Okay. I'm going to put on some ABH eye primer and I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm not going to put on my lashes and my foundation till last. Um, I don't know why I've gotten out of my habit of doing my lashes first because I love the fact that it wigs all of y'all out. Um, but <laughs> I've gotten out of the habit for some reason. So I don't know what my problem is. Just switching it up, you know, keep life interesting. And, you know, it's a little bit. So, all right, like I said, if you're here now and you want to know the deets of when this goes on sale and everything, it's in the beginning of this video. So when it's over, if you want to just rewatch the very beginning, you can see all of the details. <clears throat> it's also on Lisa's page, typically. Um, so, and Lisa's Electrum Cosmetics, by the way. Um, 
and very limited quantities. So if you guys are wanting to hop on this, hop on it. It will come back, but not until the end of the year. So if you're a, you know, instant gratification person, this may be the one for you. Okay. It's Jen leaving. Gotta run. Have a wonderful force. Bye, Jen. Thank you for coming in and saying hello. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and start with our red. And like I said, I'm just using whatever random shadows I have here. <laughs> Number 250. Okay. Uh, with a random company. I don't know. I think it's probably Coastal Sense, but I'm not sure. All right. I never even bought them from Coastal Sense. I think they were given to me. So I don't know. All right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a little more silvery. Haven't done it in a while. So you like the uncolor I mean you know like haven't went to the salon in a while kind of look <laughs> that's fine with me because I'm saving money because this girl's broke after the after my trip okay so let's dip into this red and oh pretty good little matte pretty good I gotta get some more mats from um from Electrum because like I was saying I feel like every single look I've done for that company has been in those mats because it's like purple green and blue and so I just need to order extra mats so that whenever I I did order some uh, of her misfit shades too with my own money I just ordered those. Those are coming. Can't wait to get those. Mm, I'm just outlining. I buffed this out, so don't be afraid. And kind of laying down where I want everything. Um, because Really, it's not about my eye look as much as it is about showing you guys these shadows in action. So, are you guys doing anything tonight for 4th of July? I wanted to know that. We are not. Like I said, we're saving money. We're recovering from our trip. We're not doing anything. Um, it is expensive to drive all the way around the United States, I found. <laughs> Grilling hot dogs for now. Very cool. Hot dogs, actually. I haven't had hot dogs in forever. Like grilled hot dogs, like all beef. Those are pretty good. Gonna take this out. I'm still gonna blend, so don't be scared. I might take Junior to see some fireworks. We can usually see them from pretty good from some spots here without paying. Same girl. We have we have people that are just straight up ridiculous around here. They spend thousands and thousands of dollars on fireworks we get a professional uh firework show every year in our neighborhood it's crazy and they get in fireworks wars so it's like huge ones exploding everywhere and then this and then it's like you know how they do grand finales at like shows and stuff everybody's doing grand finale wars back and forth is what it is it's exactly I told everybody I'm going to do a short on my YouTube tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to film it for you guys. So you can see what the heck I'm talking about. Unless people aren't buying as much this year, but every single year it's been the same. I was going to go into black, but I think I might, I don't know. I might. Oh yeah. How are you feeling? Depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. How are you feeling? 
girl, she got in a really bad accident. Got her, I'm going to, I don't know what this shadow is either, but it's a really, really dark purple. And I think I'm going to put that in there instead of the black. Because if I haven't used that black before, you just never know what it's going to do. <laughs> Some blacks are really hard to blend. So, yeah, that kind of gives it like a cherry look. My num my neighbors apparently, um, it's 1985 and, oh my goodness. Oh, poor girl. We have, we have people across the street that blare music in their garage 24-7 like 24 seven and I don't mind like most of the time I can't you know hear it necessarily but sometimes there's just sometimes I like to sit outside without having to listen to music player all the time you know and just sit in the quiet hi Stacy hey yeah this has been a fun live we're doing our makeup now how are you doing? Are you doing anything for the 4th, Stacy? That's what we're talking about is 4th of July plans. It's right next to their house. Oh, my goodness. Holidays, weekends. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Having a party house in your neighborhood can become difficult for sure. Okay. All right. These mats, I don't know what company it is, but they're actually pretty nice. They're pretty nice. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a little bit. I don't know. Should I try this one? Yeah, I will. It's kind of pink. I just want it to be lighter. Right in there. And let's see here. Um, have a big fireworks show every year. One of the relatives bring a trickle. I know it. Everybody in our neighborhood does that. It's so freaking crazy. I can't believe the amount of money spent on fireworks. I need to start selling fireworks. I think. <laughs> what did Renee say? Tried to go back work yesterday but no oh your body said nope dang it girl you gotta rest you gotta let your body recover don't push it every day my body talks back to me i want to do something my body says nope yeah same so does mine but renee got in a car accident that totaled her car so i'm sure she's struggling to function she was in the hospital, man. And they had the nerve to ask our construction workers to stop hammering. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you serious? I'm trying to get motivated to do some cleaning. <laughs> Even worse, after car accident. Oh yeah, definitely. My dog has already started wedging itself. Oh, I know my doggies don't like the fireworks either. I'm going back into that red. Just to... A little bit more red in there. Okay. All right. All right. Let's let's party. Um. Mm -hmm. I usually don't use these with any kind of sticky anything. I don't know if Lisa is able to still be here right now, but if you are, do you enjoy it with a glitter glue more? than without because I like to just use them on my bare eyelids but if you enjoy it better with the glitter glue then I'm gonna try it so if you're here let me know if you're not no worries I will just try whatever floats my boat Let's go. 
Joker glued told him? I don't know. That's why I was going to ask. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. I've noticed that, Janet. No, I haven't tried those duochromes yet, Stacy. Let me see. She might have had to go. She's later than I am. And I know it's 4th of July. <laughs> so let me see if she'll answer here. Do you like to use your shades with a glitter glue? Question mark. I usually don't use anything. But I wanted to know your preference. Oops. Where did that go? I'll keep that up because I don't get notifications on Instagram. Let us never try those super shifty sparkly shades with any adhesive. Gotcha. Let's see how it does. I could do it on my hand. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea, Renee. I'll do that. That way, you guys will know the better way, too. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. All right. Do -do -do. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the one that I like to use the best if I am going to use it with, um, like a, a holochrome or a multichrome and then that's the, that's my, um, Too Faced glitter glue because it's super tacky. So, see, it's super tacky. So I'm going to try that first. I'm going to use Moon Magic over top of it. <laughs> I'm using the glue. <laughs> I don't think it matters, but wow. Right there is where I had the glitter glue, like right in that area. So it does not disturb the shadow. Mm-mm. But I think I'm going to use it because it did just grip right to it. So I'm going to use it. That was cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, because there's no color into it. Oh, yeah, yeah. This has, like, it dries with no nothing as well. Okay, I'm just going to put the, you know, it just, like, goes tacky. I love this. I don't know if you can even buy it anymore. It's one of my favorites. And then I'm going to go into Moon Magic. I'm going to put it right. <laughs> Sorry. Having a good time here. So glad you guys showed up for my party. On my eyes. Fireworks on my eyes. I just got it into my eyelids, though. I, you don't have to have that flaky. I'm just telling you, if you would just take one little swipe and do this, you would be fine. But I dig my fingers in every shadow. So I create the fallout. So you don't have to do that. Uh, my husband's making dinner, obviously. And... Now I got to think about what I want to eat <laughs> because he's grilling tonight. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Do you have the stuff to make Burak burgers? Do you have the cabbage? Beer rock burgers, if you have the stuff, or cheesesteaks. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. Now, I, I will get up close so you guys can check this out whenever I'm done. Because then it's beautiful. Okay. Hi, Fashion Fab Beauty. Hey, I can't tell by your picture. Is, do, have you been here before? Hi, Roslyn. Yay. I was hoping to see your pretty face show up. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Have you ever had a beer rock? That's the first question. Oh, you came from Renee. Well, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And if you would tell me your name, I would love to call you by your name instead of your channel name because just like talking to the parcel because I know I'm more than my channel. <laughs> Is that Shonda? Or Chanda, but I think it's Shonda, but I have to ask. <laughs> You've never heard of a beer rock. Okay, well, you're right there with everybody else that was even at Leavenworth, which surprised me. And then we did a little history on the beer rock and found out um, what it's about. So we thought it came from Germany and... It kind of did in a certain area of Germany, but became more prevalent um, when they moved from Russia over to the United States and settled in the Kansas area, which were from Kansas. Um, so it was quite interesting finding the history on this, right? Leavenworth is gorgeous. Loved it. Um, oh, I can't wait for you guys to see these eyes. Okay. Um, but what it is, is it's a, a, uh, a roll that is made that's airy that you rise and then you roll it out into a pocket or, well, you know, roll it out flat to create a pocket. And inside the pocket is hamburger seasoned like salt and pepper, hamburger, sausage, cabbage, onion, and cheese. And you fold it up. And you pinch it off and you bake it. And it's kind of got like the floury dough bun thing. And it has all that stuff. In it. It's kind of like a, a hot pocket, but ooh, a thousand times better. Okay. But it takes all day to make these. And they are like every person that hates cabbage loves these. Um, every person that has ever thought, ew, gross, has loved them. Um, and they are my kids' number one request ever. My daughter just requested them when she was pregnant because it was one of her cravings. Um, they are so freaking delicious. They're not juicy, no, because like you boil the cabbage ahead of time and then you kind of like uh, paper towel it and get all the moisture out of it. So you got like the, it's soft, the Oh, it's so freaking delicious. <laughs> just, but since it takes all day, my husband has created two different things that are kind of the same, but not. But kind of feels that want for a beer rock when we may not have time all day to be making a beer rock. And the one thing he makes is beer rock burgers. So he makes the burger out of sausage and hamburger and kind of seasons it the same. Then he layers it with onions and like cooked onions and cabbage on top with cheese. So it tastes like one with special buns. They're kind of like the rolls. So yum. Um, and then got to eat. Be right back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. Right. Same. Um, and then he has a casserole that he's made with the same thing, with the cheese and the hamburger, the sausage, the cabbage and the onions and the cheese. And oh, yeah. And then it's like topped with but like the rolls on top. Just yeah. OK. Beer rocks. Get you some. They're not all equal. My husband's has ruined me probably from any restaurant that will ever make one because they're that freaking good. They're so good. 
Just saying. Okay. Uh, cheddar, I think. I'm pretty sure he uses cheddar. If he's on here, he can answer. But I'm pretty sure it's cheddar. Oh, wait. I'm trying to figure out. Do I want to just go ahead? Odd. I use, I do not use glitter glue. And when I swatch anything for pictures, I use nothing as a primer. Okay, great. I did decide to use a glitter glue. I like it. I just wanted to try it. Yes, I am from Kansas. And did you tell me you live in Kansas? And did you tell me, did I say your name? Oh, is it Chanda? Did I say it right now? No, it is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I don't like NYX. I don't like NYX. You are from Kansas? Awesome. What parts of Kansas are you from? I'm kidding. We don't talk like that. <laughs> when people tell me I have an accent, I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't talk like that. It's more of a Texas accent. <laughs> or a Louisiana, not Louisiana. Okay, anyways, I'm going to just shush. Southwest, northeast, but live southwest. From northeast, but live southwest. So south. West. Okay. I hardly ever go Southwest. Northeast, I go all the time. Northeast is Kansas City area and I go there all the time. Okay. Oh, come on already. Would you not? Here we go with the glow girls or guys that are on here. Oh, <laughs> yummy. Oh, Northwest. Okay. Gotcha. My husband works northwest a lot, like in that area. Oh my gosh, you guys, y'all aren't seeing it yet. But let me get close when I'm done because, wow, wow. That's all we're going to say about that. I just, wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, sounds good, yay. It's nice to meet you. Thanks, Renee, for hooking me up with somebody in my area. Now you have two reasons to come visit, Renee. I I don't know if you read my message yet on your video, but I, you were talking about maybe wanting to come visit Kansas sometime. And I'm like, Renee, please, please. And I was just kidding. I said, I'll show you all the non-Wizard of Oz things we have here. Because... <laughs> When we were talking, I'm like, yeah, that's a myth. Like, we don't have like a whole bunch of Wizard of Oz. To, everybody thinks that we're connected with Wizard of Oz. I'm like, really? They, no, not really. <laughs> you all, you just can't with these shadows. I'm just saying, I, it's an experience. And I, and I honestly feel like unless you experience it, you just don't really, I mean, you can grasp how pretty it is from pictures or just looking at it right now, but you just don't know till you do it yourself. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm going to promise you, I, I'll promise you, and I don't do that very often. <laughs> Because some people have different, um, you know, preferences. So it's hard for you to promise somebody that they're going to love something. Okay. Because everybody has different promises or preferences. But, you know, very rarely. Sometimes I'm like, no, I promise you. <laughs> try. try. Just try. I thought Kansas was known for Big Brutus. No, I've never even seen Big Brutus. I know it's there somewhere, but. It's not known for that either. We're called the air capital of the world. Okay. That's more sophisticated and just important. Okay. All right. The air capital of the world. The world. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not that serious. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, we have Air Force bases and we have where Boeing originated, Cessna originated, and I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> we are in central world. We are the central. Yes, we are the central of the world, too. We have all kinds of special stuff that people don't realize, okay? We are flatlands, and everybody wants to talk about, oh, it's not pretty there because it's flat. First off, flat means you can see every sunset and sunset and sunrise in its full majesty okay the best and then i guess the one thing it would be even better is if it was on an ocean but you know and then uh you know we have wheats wheat fields you know that go for that span for miles um I tell you one thing, I'm a little salty about my trip and going through Yellowstone and how that all turned out. And we never saw any wildlife, hardly any, barely any. And I'll tell you one thing, we have more wildlife sightings than Yellowstone does. <laughs> uh, that's for darn Skippy sure. So that's another plus about Kansas. And honestly, I have traveled in different areas of the United States and even of the world, really. I've been to St. Lucia and Jamaica and Mexico and I don't remember anywhere else. But I would say that every time I travel somewhere and I just got back from traveling Colorado, Idaho, Utah, Oregon, Washington, Wyoming, uh, Wyoming, what's the other one? Well, oh, Wyoming, Montana, and we didn't do Nebraska, but we just went through that whole, and I always, even though it's beautiful, I always don't want to move. So that must say something, right? Like it's beautiful and I'd love to go visit, but I don't want to live there. The air is pure here. You're right. It is. <laughs> Unless you have allergies. <laughs> it's a little tough on people with allergies sometimes because of the things that you know, grow around here, but, um, but the air is pure, no fog, no smog, no nothing. And you know what? We have the best kick butt thunderstorms around. I don't care who you are. You will grow to appreciate a good thunderstorm when you move here. They're amazing. Oops. I just got, just, oops. They're amazing, for sure. I don't know. I haven't been there. So I, well, actually, I have, but very short period of time. Uh, when I went on a trip to Washington, D.C., which I want to go back there, too, sometime. Um, I did a close-up trip when I was in high school for government and got to travel to Washington, D.C., and the Maryland area, and it was fun. And but I did really enjoy the museums, and the Holocaust Museum was very just very moving and impactful. And I had been studying uh, the Holocaust and the and everything. So when I went to the museum, it was just I I just want to go back and do it again as an adult. That's all. Oh, but girl. Tornadoes, oh, I've lived through tornadoes. Like tornadoes have came through my neighborhood. Like there, I would take that over. Uh, I would take that over forest fires. I would take that over um, hurricanes. I would take it over earthquakes. I would take it over all those things, all those disasters. Seriously, over here, hurricanes or even forest fires. Forest fires messes with your air 
for a long period of time. I'd much rather. Oh, you had one. <laughs> That's not how it happens, though. Girl, most of the time, you can stand out in a field and watch a tornado go by. Like, unless it's coming straight towards you, and most of the time you already know, I chase the suckers, okay? I have fam. I come from a family of actual KFDI storm chasers, okay? They worked for a news station that reported Kansas storms. They were storm spotter news reporters. And it rubbed off on me because I chase them. <laughs> I go watch them. It's fun. It's a drilling junkie. I had one come out. Did it burn last four minutes? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yep. That's exactly right. They Tornadoes last for minutes. Hurricanes last for days. In my dreams. Right for me. Yeah. I mean, those things can happen. The scary thing is not being warned ahead of time, which that rarely happens. Um, and then the other thing that you would need to be careful about is like if you were. So like what scared me was when we were out traveling and we were going through like Wyoming and Oregon. We were getting these. Um... Okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I, I know it's it's a holiday. So I know that not everybody's going to be able to stick around. But um, but thank you for hanging out with us. Um, but um, we were driving. No shelter. No service to find out where the storm was at. And there was tornadoes coming towards us. It was scary. That was scary. Never want to be in that again. But when you're at home, and it's it's really not that scary. It's just not. Oh, taking pictures. Woohoo! Yay. I'm just adding layers and buffing out this little side area here, trying to keep it, you know, reddish looking. And without buffing it out, making it look pink. That's the hard thing with red shadows. Um, but anywho, because I don't want to leave a harsh line, but yet I don't want it to look pink either. Oh, thank you, Alexandria. Yes. Kansas has some of the nicest people. Thank you. I think so too. Honestly, because I've traveled um, places where I'm just like, oh, rude people. Um, and I guess it just depends on where you're at, too. I think Kansas City has a little bit more, less friendly people. <laughs> but I live towards the, the bottom of the state, closer to Oklahoma. Yes. Oh, yeah. We get alerts all the time, storm storm warnings all the time. And you know ahead of time, even when the air is just uh, looks like it's suitable for tornadoes, you already know to watch. So they'll let you know you need to be watching the skies today. And then if it turns into a warning, then you're like, hmm, there's a tornado on the ground somewhere. So we need to probably be watching where it's headed. But you have time to prepare 99% of the time. The only time you don't is some of these rural places where they don't have a good storm system set up. And there's not enough time to warn the people before it hits. So, and the other thing that people don't understand, and you might not understand, and you might not know this, Renee, is that we all, just about, <laughs> I'd say almost all of us out here have basements because of that. You know, you go other places and a lot of houses don't have basements. Almost all of us have complete underground basements. So it's a part of our house. They're finished bedrooms. They're finished rooms with carpets and walls and everything else is not like a cellar or anything. Like I'm in a basement now. My, my makeup room is in the basement. So 
Oh yeah, you can feel it in the air. Absolutely, you can. I I I could feel the tornado coming when we were driving. I could see it, and I was just like the air. I knew. It. I said that's a tornado over there. And sure enough, when we left, it was coming at us. And when we got out of there, Marty had looked it up and a tornado went through there. I was like, I told you, <laughs> storm spotter. Lose my home in one. Yes. And I had an aunt um, that lost her home in one. It was a very big one. It was like all over the news, national news and everything. And she lived here, but on the east side of town here. And she lost her home and it was pretty devastating. Um, but that was a long time ago. It was like 1993. So the storms, you know, alert systems are way better now than it used to be. Yes, it, that's exactly right. When it gets quiet, like all of a sudden you've got wind and hail and rain and everything's coming in. You're like, man, this is a bad storm. When it goes, you can start hearing one little bird go. Hmm. I'm going to get back inside the house. <laughs> when it goes completely dead quiet, you're like, it's time to go. Question, do you see the hollow on my eyes? Yes. Let me get up close. Can you guys see the hollow now that it's on my eyes? Now this is the glowy and this is that moon. Can you guys see it? I can see it in person, but I can definitely see it. Can you see it? It is beautiful. This is the glow. And the, so this, this right here is moon child. And this on the side is moon magic. Can you see the shift? And the hollow. So, so pretty. Let me see if I brought Nope, not in the mirror. You're probably better off just seeing it on my eyes up close. There you go. It's so freaking beautiful. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, I think you can see it better on my eyes than on my swatches. When outside suddenly turns an unnatural shade of green and it gets really stale, still, yeah, it means once nearby or about to form, at least where I live. Where do you live? You must live in Oklahoma or something. Because <laughs> um, you're talking my doc. No, yeah, the green means hail. Okay, so... <laughs> Hide your car. And we have gotten hailstones that are like this big before. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it's it, big enough to kill somebody like they have before. So, like, don't go outside with the hail, okay? Hi, Rosemary. Hey, I miss you. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, thank you for coming. Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. That explains it. You're just a hop, jump, and a skip to my western, southern western side. <laughs> so all my neighbors are here. I'm getting to meet all my new neighbors. Holy Moses, <laughs> that's big hail bond. <laughs> we still, we have had so many roofs and gutters replaced because of hail, that this last time, I'm like, we're not replacing that. <laughs> like, I don't freaking care. Like, it just every year will jack up your, that, that is, that is a nuisance. The hail is a nuisance, for sure. For your cars, for your roofs, for your house, it chips your paint off your house. It's awful. It's big. Totally big, huge hailstones. Oh, really? That's awesome. I had family that lived in Arkansas. 
a long time ago. I traveled there when I was a young, young girl. Oh, I've been there since then, but, <laughs> but yeah, when my family lived there, some of my family did. Can you see the hollow on your, on the lid? Yes. Did you see? Yes. It's yes. Did you not see it? Yes. I can see the hollow on my, when I shift and I'm using moon magic. I can see it on my lid. All oh, the hollow. Can you guys see it? I can see it. Yeah, you can see it absolutely on my lid. Better, what I'm saying, better on my lid than even my swatches. <laughs> I can see it on my swatches, but I think even you guys can see the shift better on in the hollow. The shift and the hollow on my lid. It's so freaking pretty. Okay, let me keep let me keep moving on with this eye look. I'm gonna put a different shade also down on the bottom. Yes. Oh yeah. And I'll I'll pick another hollow to put down underneath. I'll probably use Vesper Vesper Teen. Yeah, we're, we're using that on the bottom. <laughs> it's so freaking pretty. Okay, so what do I need? What was I going for? I don't know. Um, why am I facing this way? And what was I going for? <laughs> what was I going for? <laughs> okay, I have that done. Is that going to clean up? Oh, that's what it's going for. Okay. Woo. Goldfish brain. I was in your live chat when you all were together. Oh, yay. I'm here because we all. <laughs> Thank you. That's so cool. Well, I'm so glad that you were there for our live stream. That was so much fun. And I just want to put it out there. Like. I was truly terrified that night. I think people thought I was just playing around. No. And I was saying this in her in her um, comments when I was watching, when she was talking about when we when we went, you know, serial killer hunting. Um, but I we were told by the front desk lady that they had spot right where we were at on the beach, black bears and and ask for my name. Oh, very cool. And you have a, you have a channel. So after this is up, yeah, I don't want to do that now. Um, after this is up, please just leave a little heart, a purple heart in the comments after this goes up. And I'll go and make sure that I follow you as well. Um, no, Janet, I was scared. <laughs> I was really scared <laughs> because she had told us that there's black bears out there and coyotes and raccoons and something else. Like she was just like, uh, you know, here at the hotel, uh, my job is to keep you guys safe. <laughs> so I just want to let you know. That if you guys, I overheard you guys talk about going, you know, out there hiking tonight on the, around the beach. And she's like, so let me, you know, let you in on what, you know, has been going on around here. <laughs> what were we thinking? I know. I'm telling you, that's what was going. I think everybody else had just blocked that out of their mind because I was scared. I was scared. We were going, I was scared of the bears, not the serial killers, but I love, I'm all things true crime. So when we were doing our life, okay, let's back it up. Story time. Okay. Let's, I'm going to keep moving. You're up. Yeah. They are up on all of our channels. So Tish, Tish, trouble with Tish. I will link all y'all. Uh, actually, Renee, will you please put the links to your channel? And, oh, you can't, can you? But um, Tisha's channel uh, or the playlist or whatever. We need to put the playlist of all of our videos all together in one playlist 
from that night. That's what I'll do on my, I'll, it'll be up if you want to look for it later. Okay. So what happened was we were doing a live stream and this is before we went serial killer honey. Okay. And we, we, okay. I'm going to pick up that dark shade real quick and I'm going to spray it. I spray all of my shadows underneath my eyes. And the reason why I do that is because, um, it gives you maximum pigmentation plus it lasts. It doesn't go anywhere. So always, whether it's a matte or a shimmer, I always uh, spray my underneath shades. Okay. So we were going live and we were doing a look and playing in our makeup and stuff. And all of a sudden I hear like a chainsaw, <laughs> some kind of saw. And I think it was Renee said, what is that? why is there a chainsaw like in the middle of the day? And I was like, Ooh, serial killers, you know, I was like, and just for fun, I thought it, I was the one that suggested it. I don't know. Somebody suggested it. I thought it was me, but maybe it wasn't that we would go serial killer hunting because I am a true crime fanatic and you know, all things true crime. I love. So, um, so I don't know. I was just like, I was just kidding, kind of kidding around, like, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell because we're going to go out tonight looking for uh, serial killers and all that stuff. And so when we were out in the lobby area, obviously we were talking about something and she overheard us. And so that's why she was like, uh, I heard that you were going to, I don't think that she heard that we were going to go look for serial killers, but she heard us talking about going out and walking around. Um, and we had my son and his girlfriend with us and it was me and Tish and Renee. And so we were all recording while this happened. And I know that everybody thinks I was scared. I was behind my son and I was holding on to his sweatshirt so tight that I didn't realize until halfway through that I was choking him out and he wasn't saying anything. And so when we lived in baby housing, we were told to secure the street. Yeah. Because the bears. Yeah, exactly. So, Oh, I put the red down. Oh, well, I'll put the other over top of it. That's never mind. I'm moving on. I didn't want the red down there, but it's okay. Um, so, because I'm talking and not paying attention, I don't want the red down there though. Um, so, Janet, that's why I wanted to let you know I was really scared. Um, we were walking through and the only way that I can explain it is that it was this little path that had overgrown. Okay. So we were like being hit by thick brush and that path never stopped. Like we kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going. And you guys were on, on live, but I don't know if you realize just how long it felt in real life that we were going to, and it never ended. And all I remember is that I felt trapped and I knew that we couldn't just like turn around. Like I kept telling myself, we'll just get to the beach. We'll just get to the beach. Eventually it can't be too much longer. And I just kept telling myself that over and over and over in my head. And then I was like scared and being vocal about it because I knew that black bears were scared of noise. So I was being very vocal about being scared. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to blame it on that. If you guys believe me. Um, but no, seriously, there, there is some truth to that. <laughs> um, but we finally get to the end and it is blocked off by construction. And we seriously had to turn around and go all the way back the same way. It was, it was bad. It was, once we got out and we were all safe, I was just like, okay, yay. 
yeah, that was fun. <laughs> but when I was in there, mm -mm, no. And then my son decided to freak me out even more. I'm going to put a little bit more of that glue over top of that red. And then I'm going to go with Vesper, 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 Vesper Tine and put that underneath there. So my son wanted to freak me out just a little bit more because he had fun doing that. And he says, we saw this really funky spider. It was big and it was funky spider. And he goes, yeah, just imagine we probably had a whole bunch of those spiders all over in the area that we were walking. And I said, shut your mouth. <laughs> Cause I have horrific arachnophobia. I do not like spiders at all. I can take, <laughs> I can take snakes, anything. Don't get me no spider. Like I will, I will kill somebody trying to get out of a room that has a spider. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take a little sponge tip applicator and I'm going to take the edge of it and try to run a little bit of that Vesperine um, on top of that glitter glue that I put on top of that red. Cause really I didn't want the red there to begin with, but it might add a little bit of different uh, look to it. Pretty. You are too. Yeah. Um, don't, don't like them. Do not. 10 out of 10, don't recommend. <laughs> the spiders, that is. <laughs> These are pretty. I don't have my liner in yet, so just trust the process, okay? Trust it. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to do the other side. And definitely can see the hollow on this one as well. I'll get closer once I get it all on. Look, the, the number second I arrived in Rome, I had a massive, oh no! Awful. Oh my goodness. Brown recluses are the worst. Little suckers. They look small and harmless and they're like the most freaking deadly you don't like spiders either renee well just think about all the freaking spiders we were running our faces into <laughs> stuff i literally have nightmares about spiders you know forget you know monsters and all that stuff nope nope this girl has panic attack nightmares over spiders. Because that's how much I dislike them. Yeah, necrosis. That's what it sounds like to me. From the spider bite. It's very, very sparkly. Very sparkly. Okay. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit right in here. Okay. Just wait. Just wait. Okay. I'm going to go back in. Oh, I smell food cooking. I haven't ate all day, so I'm a little hungry. And smelling the food is not helping. I also didn't have coffee today. That's why I was drinking the Coke to have some caffeine and probably some sugar at this point. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I bet. Ooh, I'm so sorry, Janet. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Oh, my gosh. I, guys, wait till I get this. I... Mm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this red on. I'm gonna go ahead. And, oh, my unearthly liner is shrinking. It's shrinking. Hopefully it still works because these are my favorite pot liners. It works. That's all that matters. 
just quit shrinking away. I love these pot liners. I really need to get the rest of the colors, but I don't think, she, I don't even know if she carries them anymore. Oh, they pop. Love these pot liners. I got a little bit of that sparkly on my pot liner. Put a little more over top of it. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I know it looks red, and like red is not. Reds and pinks are really not my favorite eyeshadow color, but wait till I get my lashes on, okay? PT, oh my gosh, I bet you do. I would have PTSD as well, for sure. I'm gonna put in some black eyeliner in my top waterline. Look away if this bothers you. I'm going to clean out my lashes for a minute. And put on some mascara, curl my lashes, put on some lashes, some top lashes. All right. Um, and I'm going to put on some mascara. And let's see here. And some foundation. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I move things around recently, so if you see me doing this a lot, it's because I move things around, and now I'm a little confused on where everything's at. <laughs> oh, shoot. I did some organization because I have a really bad habit of needing to get things done, like packing for a trip, <laughs> and instead of doing what I need to do, going, oh, I need to organize this stuff. Because I'm a little something called procrastinating. <laughs> and if you suffer from ADHD, you too might have the same issue. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for something that I obviously hid from myself. I have this little tool that cleans out my, well, it's to separate your lashes, but also kind of cleans out your lashes which I really like, and I obviously organized it so well, <laughs> I can't find it. Well, welcome back, Ava, and that's fine. You can be back. Just respect the chat and don't blow it up with spam, okay? I am all for hanging out. Just don't spam the chat, okay? All right. Hi, Joe. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Stephanie. Yes, palette, Celestial Witch, all of the deets are at the beginning of the live stream. I'll be, hold on, let me look real quick. I got to just find this tool that I'm looking for. Maybe, maybe I'll just leave it alone and forget it. I'll just try to clean it out some other way. Yeah. Okay. I really probably need to get food in my system. That's probably my problem. Okay, where's my things? Yes, thank you, Renee. Thank you so much. Renee, do you ever do your trivia nights anymore on your channel? It is a pretty ballad with procrastination right you haven't had them in a while so much fun so much fun okay um let's curl and i'm gonna get up close when i get this all done and i'm going to let you guys see the shift and the hollow and all the fun stuff hopefully the camera will pick it up like i'm seeing it in person and um yeah oh 
Okay. And I don't have very long lashes. I don't have thick lashes or anything like that. So this look really does need some false lashes just so that it doesn't overtake. Like it needs to balance. And it doesn't have nothing. To, you know, There back in the day, I used to hear people say, oh, you know, if I don't like this look, I'm just going to pop on. It has nothing to do with me liking or disliking a look has everything to do with me just balancing out a look because I don't have lashes. <laughs> and freaking amazing looks deserve some bold lashes, you know? So, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a pair that um, Tishy got me from because I wore I tried these on my Patreon live too. So I'm going to pick out, She, I'm going to be doing a video showing everything that they brought me. Um, so I have it all sitting off to the side here, but Tish brought me a whole bunch of lashes. I think these are nice. I'm going to do those. Liner. Yes. Liner lashes. I don't ever hardly do like wing liner. But yes, lashes are a must for me, mainly when I'm doing red, because red can kind of, I have a olive green undertone, and so red can play with my coloring a little bit, so reds, oranges, and pinks. So, um, some of my looks, like, I'm like, oh, I could go out just, just like this, not do anything to it. But some of them I'm like, no, I need to complete it because it, it really needs to be a finished look. I got to cut these down. Of course. Hi, Sylvia Jackson. Good. Stay on that couch, girly. Take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself, girly. See? See? Before. After. Before. After. And I don't even have it on my yet. Okay. Some people have beautiful, big, long, lustrous lashes and they can get away with not wearing them. I am not that one. <laughs> and I'm happy for the people that don't have to. But again, I am not the one. Just checking to make sure I got them similar warming up food. Hmm. Yeah. Got to eat and keep your strength up as much as possible. And even if, Sylvia, even if you don't feel hungry, just doing any kind of snack that's more on the nutritious side, try to fuel your body so it has a fighting chance. You know what I mean? Because you're putting it through so much right now that you really need that. Okay? I'm just mothering you right now. Okay, Sylvia? <laughs> Good thing you know me really well. Know my heart, my intention. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm just saying take care of you because we care about you. And the lash hacks to make them longer don't usually work. What now? Uh, love lashes. Just get lazy to put them on. LOL. Um, and then you said me either and the lash hacks to make them longer usually don't work. I think that, um, man, water tastes to now. Oh man, that stinks. I use, yeah. Um, 
I'm sorry, train of thought. I'm, I'm bouncing all over the place. Lash Couture Super Strong Black uh, Lash Glue. And just that, you might try that. Um, and I said this in the live stream when I was with Renee and Tish. My other thing that a lot of people think is gross. <laughs> but I'm like, mm, whatever. <laughs> But if I have lashes that I've worn like six times <laughs> and they still have a little bit of glue on it and I'm just kind of picking off the big chunks of glue and I'm just leaving it and I wore them, those are the best lashes because they stay on all the time. And actually, I hurt my own lashes trying to peel them off sometimes because they're that stuck to my eyes at the end of the night. So <laughs> if you're not grossed out by it and then give it a try <laughs> to each his own <laughs> don't don't shame me for my for my <laughs> for my hacks okay <laughs> liquid IV oh yeah I bet that would help but I wonder is it gonna mess with Sylvia is it gonna mess with like all of your taste buds Cause dang, if it messes with water, that's what I was just thinking just now. If it messes with your, with the taste of water. I can imagine that messes with the taste of a lot of things. But I am a, I, most people aren't this way, but I can taste the difference between different water companies and two, so you have a really sensitive palate you would also cutting them down shorter always they stay better typically there is an awkward point where if you do like a three-quarter lash it can sit weird as well these are brand new so I don't know how well they'll stay but this glue seems to be the best. What I have problems with is the weight of the lashes. Sometimes if they're too heavy, they'll start to sag. And since I have small almond shaped eyes, you feel the sag immediately. Good night, Sue. Have a good night. I know this is a little bit longer. If you guys have to go, if you guys have 4th of July plans, get on out of here. Like you don't have to stay to the end. This will be here when you get back. You know, I just can't leave in the middle of my look. <laughs> but I totally understand. No judgment here. No worries whatsoever. Just appreciate y'all hanging out when you can. That's all. You're grilling right now, Janet. Yum. For hydration, been making electrolyte drink. Half cup tart cherry concentrate. Half cup honey. Two teaspoons silk salt. Wow. Thank you, Ava. You're relaxing. Yes, you're relaxing on the chat. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And I just touched my eyelid with my, that's the only bad thing about this black. Glue. Is that. My tweezers want to hang on. And then I just touched but I will fix it. Yes. Reducing inflammation. Ooh, I need that. I need to reduce my inflammation for sure. My disease causes lots of inflammation. Here, this one may be a little bit longer than what I thought. See how it came over a little bit more. Uh, 
That's okay. I will keep putting it on anyways. If it bothers me too much, I can take it off and trim it. Oh, shoot. I, I've been a little struggle best lately with my lashes. I don't know why. I used to be able to pop them on, no problem, and be done with it. And I think maybe I'm trying more and more newer ones. And so uh, I've been a little struggle best getting them on. Once I get them on, they're fine. But I'm going 12. I'm going grade 12 this year. Oh, really? So a senior in high school. Oh, very cool. Are you in the United States? Or somewhere else. I know I do have several people that watch me from India, so I'm just wondering. Okay. All right, all right, all right. And then I'm going to correct that little black by just topping it, oops, topping it with a little bit more shadow because it's just a really faint line. So I'm going to go into moon, moon Magic and just plop that right over top of that black and hope that I don't get it in my lash and then I'm going to take a little bit of that moon child and put that right over top of where I touched it on the inner corner and voila <laughs> like new high school I'm going 12 yes okay very cool well welcome got to match that up Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Lash can be tricky. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now I need to do a little bit of black mascara on the lower lash. And then, well, I want to do my birdie lashes. This is the best mascara I'm telling you. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So this one, this little one is for the bottom lashes. I love this mascara. I don't always put mascara. I don't know if you guys ever noticed this or not, but I don't, I pretty much rarely put bottom mascara on. But sometimes I just like, oh, I want to do it. Darker lippy, no specific shade to recommend for this. Yes. Probably gonna do black to be honest. Black is what I was thinking. I haven't worn a good black licky lip licky <laughs> lippy in a while. So okay, so a little bit of lower lash mascara. We're gonna do the center, the center, the inner corner. I think I'm gonna use my daydreamer palette. And oh, who does my favorite black? They don't carry it anymore. Lunar Beauty. But Nikki got me an, a second one because in the UK they were still carrying it. And so she ordered me another one. So I have a backup of the Lunar Beauty one. It's my favorite. Oh, by far, hands down, my favorite black lippy. It it smells good, it wears good. It is my favorite. You haven't bought a black yet? Oh, no. Girl. Okay, I'm going to put this dreamer in the inner corner with my sponge tip applicator. Oh, my goodness gracious. Love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have tried it. I have. I do have Curse Cosmetics. I have a code with them, and I have tried their lippies. They're, I like them, but they're not my favorite. Um, and the bad part with black, oh, a red lippy would look good with this, though, too. Hmm. Um, nah, we're going to do black. 
Um, because this is a celestial witch. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. Anywho. All right. Let's move on. Is good. Okay. Gourmet girls. Oh, but in UK. Okay. And you see, okay. Unearthly cosmetics. Um, I don't, I love unearthly cosmetics lippies, but the black one, I don't like it peels off on me. Um, in the unearthly cosmetics, which, you know, Hey, we don't like everything. <laughs> I do. I do like unearthly cosmetics lippies. They're amazing. But the black one came. Oh, the melt one is, I have not tried that one now. That's, a one that I probably need to try is Melt Cosmetics. And I need to find out if Sigma has a black. Because this is the first Sigma liquid lippy that I've gotten. I like the formula. So I need to find out. Oh, and the other that I really loved, which I really hate that I don't have, is Fenty used to have a black and they don't carry it anymore. Target lipstick. Great. Some lipstick is cool. Huh. Yes. Hi, Jesses. I can see you. I'm I'm back. You had to clean and eat. I saw that. I just sometimes I read it and forget to read it out loud. Oh, I guess though the Juvia's Place liquid lippy wasn't too bad as well. Yeah, I need to try the melt. I've never tried melt before. In lippies. Well. In black lippies. I don't know. Do I have a melt? Oh, I do have one. But it's like a, I think this is like a one I got like from Sephora. It's pretty. I need to wear it. Oh, I have it over here because it kind of smells. <laughs> because it's that old. And I'm about to do my, oh. I am in the middle of procrastinating through my declutter series and it's over there because I'm like, mm, that one might be tossed. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. We're repeating Miss Ava and kind of spamming again. Let's not, let's, I, you're slowing down. I appreciate it, but oh, you're scaring me, girl. Yeah, I wasn't, I, I'm i not a fan of the NYX. Um, I need to put on my, but Lunar Beauty. It smells good, wears good, looks good, love it. I have a Milani. I have uh, something that was like from Amazon. I have a NYX liquid suede. I didn't like it. Um, uh, what else? I have the curse. Cursed, also what bothers me, uh, Renee, about cursed cosmetics. Did I just fling out the thing? Um, the cursed. Oh, I hope you don't have your hands on. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, that was quite special. Hmm. Okay. Uh, back to it. <laughs> uh Curse Cosmetics, I do like their lippies. The smell bothers me a little bit. It's very strong. And most people, it probably won't bother, but I have such sensitive senses that it it kind of it kind of gets to me a little bit. So I, I'm less likely to wear them as some of my others. I'm so sorry, Stephanie. That was awful. I'm so sorry. Okay, LB. What is LB? I'm, uh, let's see. LB. Hmm. I'm, what am I doing with my lippy right yet? Let's put on some foundation, okay? LB. You're going to have to remind me what LB is. I'm. It's not coming to me. Give me glow. Is Oh, give me glow. Janet, why I didn't read your message before is because I thought you were talking about Gourmet Girls. 
I was like, God, mm, give me glow. <laughs> it's give me glow. <laughs> and I love, <laughs> let's just change the subject. I love give me glow. Uh, they had my favorite green that they never carry anymore. I love this so much. This is jalapeno poppers. And I do like their formula. I thought that was cool, black girls. Oh, Lunar Beauty. Thanks. Thanks. I, for some reason, it wasn't. They make great products, yes. <laughs> yes, tag the black lippy. Tag Manny with the black lippy and make. I have every single time I wear it, Renee. Every time. But if you, what, what will make a difference is if you guys all reshare it and tag him again. I've done it every time I've worn it. But if you guys all get a hold of it on the post or on the um on the story and you repost it and you tag him, maybe he'll get his attention. <laughs> How funny. Yeah, hey, put me on there. Do a collab with me, Manny. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh shoot. He's like, Debbie who? Debbie Ton who? Gotta, um, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. The other thing is, I'm looking at my hands, making sure I don't have too many sparkles. The best tool for my face with foundation I have found is my hands. I'm using my hands from here on out. It spreads it perfectly. It puts the right amount I am enjoying using my fingers for my foundation. And I used to only use sponges. And I don't like brushes because they break out my face. But my hands are the way to go, you guys. Um, black Moon. Uh, yeah, I have Black Moon Cosmetics. And I do like, I do like their, um, their lippies. I like their fun colors and everything, but as time goes on, their formula changes like as they get older um, because they get really super thick and goopy. And so I put too much foundation on, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to work it out. Um, I put too much pump. I do the right amount with my fingers, but if I pump too much into my hand and I just apply it all to my face, then we're in trouble. And I just did that. So whatever, because I was talking. <laughs> um, so Black Moon Cosmetics, I like their fun colors and stuff. And I did and really enjoy their formula when I first bought them, but their formula definitely like changes pretty quickly actually, because it got super thick. But let me take this back because I know the same thing happened with Jeffree Star's lippies as well, is that they I only bought minis. So that might have something to do with it because Jeffree Star's minis also did the same thing. They got super thick and gloopy really quickly after... Um, after a quick while after opening them, even if you didn't open them, I had some that I hadn't even opened yet. And they were, cause you know, you get them in that big set for Jeffree Star. And some of those also changed before I even opened them. So it might be the packaging. So if I bought a full size, but sometimes I like little ones because I have so many that I just don't want a big batch. Just a smear, just a smudge. Foundation looks more natural with the warmth of the hands. I agree. I agree. And what I do is I'll do that, but then I go in and sometimes like with a dry just sponge if I want to. Yeah, hold on. Okay, it's give me glow and it's jalapeno popper, but it's discontinued. It is my favorite green and it looks like it is a shade that you can find ones that are similar, but it's just this particular shade of green that just cannot be duplicated. 
And I've tried, trust me. <laughs> I've bought a ton. Here, let me find it. It's this right here. It's called Jalapeno Poppers. It's my shade of green. I freaking love that shade. It's like the right amount of yellow, the right amount of green, the right amount of bluish or whatever they put in greens. Everyone, I just saw the notification. Hi, Sandy. Oh, yeah. You're getting the end of it, my dear. Yay. Yes, yes. Caitlin is the one that got me this lippy. She's the one that started the mass hysteria because I can't find another one. Um, let me show you in the new Give Me Glow palette. Purple. You love purple? I love purple, too. Um, let me just show you something real quick, okay? We're finishing up this look eventually within, you know, three-ish hours, Okay. If you know me, you already know that's a norm around here. <laughs> if you don't know me, welcome. <laughs> you know what you signed up for. No, I'm just kidding. Now you know what you signed up for. Um, haven't tried. Mm, I don't even know if I've tried Clarity before. Lippies. I don't even know if I've tried them before. Hi, Kat. Hey, girl. I was just thinking about you today. Give me glow. Drinking some water. No, I haven't. And I need to. Why do I look dry? <laughs> Why, Sandy? Is it my mind? Or is it I look dry? <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting ready to show you guys a picture. Okay. <laughs> You have a flu, a flu. You have a flu from Clarity. Um, maybe that's why she won wonders if I drank water today. Um, and I haven't. Um, but thanks, Sandy, for pulling me, for calling me out. Okay, on my live stream. <laughs> Just kidding. I love Sandy. She can call me out anytime. Um, I'm looking. Hold on. Hold on. There's something I was going to show you, but just hold on. many times, too many distractions. Um, where would you be? Where did you go? Hmm? Where are you? Hello? 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 Is that it? Maybe? Maybe not. See, this is when I that's my green. That one kind of looks black in that one. That's all I'm shoot. There's a different one that shows it better. Where I don't have like some kind of topper over top of it or something. Because everybody was on the kick of making me put a topper over my lips for a long time. I'm so glad we're out of that phase. That one. Yes, I do forget. It is just the perfect perfect shade of green and I love it and I love it it's my green it's my green yeah and I've tried I've tried to replace it there's just no no replacing it I so I need them to bring this back and I need lunar beauty to bring back the black <laughs> okay we should all play back in black on the repost to when we tag Manny. Let's play back in black on the post, okay? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't, I don't like the Halloween collection lippies from Unearthly. I don't. That's not the same as the other ones. I just don't like the formula. The more I wear them, the more the black was the flakiest, but 
it's a different formula from the rest of what they carry in that in that and I just I don't care for it as much color wise it's way different here you want to see it this has like more of a blue different different sandy liam that's sandy is sandra here too or is that you talking about sandy i'll let it dry that's a great idea lol back in black yeah let's do that let's play that song when we repost it <laughs> let them dry for you but um different for sure, for sure, we tried it. Yeah, we liked it. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, blush and let's do let's do a little bit of red blush. Yes, try clarity for sure. If not, the formula will be okay. Okay. I am still on, Andrea. You should know me by now, girl. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to go in with, let's do this little red number. Sorry. I, I love, why are you saying sorry? You don't have to say, I love green shades too, girl. You don't have to say sorry. You're amongst your twin, I think. <laughs> I think we're pretty similar. This is burst with, Unearthly. I still haven't purchased clarity. I, I don't think I have any clarity. I'll, I'll let you know for sure, Janet, if I find one amongst all of these, but I'm pretty sure I've never tried clarity lippies. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. 99%. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go into a little bit of this red. A little bit goes a long way, so I need to be careful. I'm not using my Melt Cream Blushes. Shocker. Because I can't seem to freaking put those things down. <laughs> They're my favorite. So I'm pretty, uh, I already read that. You got sushi? Oh, lucky girl. I ate sushi in Washington. Oh my goodness. The fresh fish on that sushi. It was all you can eat. We went there twice <laughs> and if you know me you know I love trying new places I would never on vacation where I've never been before go to one place twice because I want to try it all you know mm -mm, nope it was that good <laughs> like we were gonna go get fresh cra crab legs but it's marketplace or market price everywhere we went and market price was $89.99 for king crab legs. And I'm like, I don't need crab legs that bad. <laughs> because there is no way I would eat crab legs and not let my husband and my son. And there's no way we're going to pay that times three. And so, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. So I was like, let's just do sushi again. And so that's what we did. It was so good. Okay, got my blush on. Got a little, got a little friend up there and it hurts. Okay. Um, not doing anything for tonight. So sushi it is. Yeah. Yummy. Okay. So there it is dried. So you can use the shade difference reference there. Oh, yeah. Clarity Aloha palette today with the Electrum Daydreamer palette in the inner corner. Ooh, that would be beautiful. Did you post pictures on Instagram, Janet? <laughs> Just wondering. Okay. Sometimes she fools me because she'll put pictures of her dog. But if you scroll the way over, then you get to see her looks. <laughs> it's a little turkey. I'm like, oh, I got to make sure. 
I look scroll through all of Janet's <laughs> pictures so I can see her looks. Okay, and a little bit more black up there. Softer bristle brush seems to work well with unearthly brushes. Yeah. Yeah, I like, there's this one brush that I need to find it again, but it's real, oh, I love that brush, but it's softer like that too. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Daydreamer palette for a highlighter and let's see here. I'll go with like this. It like glows a little bit red, but it's peach. And that is um, Dreamer Peach. And it has like that red glow to it. Oh man, that, that's really pretty. Maybe I should just, it's 4th of July. What the heck? Let's just do Dreamer. So this is how I do Dreamer. Dreamer is an amazing eyeshadow and highlighter. So if you want it as an eyeshadow, you just pick it up on your hand and you just go over for an eyeshadow. If you want it as a highlighter, what I do, I just wiped it off. I'm just going to take a little bit, a little bit. And what I do is I kind of graze the top of my cheek bone right there. And I just keep tapping. And I keep doing that until I get the consistency of the highlighter that I want. Because this is a freaking amazing <laughs> highlighter slash shadow that you can use for both. And it's just freaking stunning. Yeah, it's that good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Baby Jane, yes. <laughs> Did I miss something? I'm going to watch Baby Jane first. Yes, I haven't seen. Looks in. Oh, is it good? Okay, Janet. Baby. Classic, of course. Okay, gotcha. I was missing half of that conversation. And so if you just go in a little bit at a time, tap it out. This one will just blow your socks off. Oh, so freaking stunning. Bette Davis, movie girl, keep uh, keep up. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep up with Chad. Y'all are too fast for me. Okay, bye. Have a good time in Chicago, girly. All right, guys, I'm almost done. And I'll be posting pictures. I have another look with, with this palette. So I'll be posting two looks coming up with this palette before launch. Day of launch, I'll, I'll post one. And then today I'll post one. So there's that. I'm going to put a little bit of it also. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to take this one right here. Pop it right in there pretty and pop that right in there right in there so stinking pretty hi cat debbie i sent you an ig about clarity lippies to read after for a surprise oh okay read at later oh later not on live okay um, I was going to let you know to take pictures. Thank you, Justice. You're amazing at reminding me. I love that. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let, let's see. I got my, okay. I think it's lippy time, but I'm going to spray my face first. If you, if you're new here, cause I do know I had some new people in here today. If you're new here, y'all know if you know, okay. You know, this is the spray. Okay. <laughs> do we set by ABH? It's the spray. It doesn't have glitter in it. That's just the packaging. It's my spray. I don't need these for me. And then a lock. Sometimes I use my fan that Barbara Jean got me. Sometimes I use this. And I've been doing this lately because I like to kind of tap right in here by my eyes. And then 
like where I crease because I don't use powder and it kind of just sets everything. I gotta put on a little bit of brows as well. I gotta cover that thing too. That's awful. My little friend up there on my forehead. I don't usually get acne, but I tried this new mask. It's either the new mask I tried or some Il Maquillage foundation that Barbara Jean sent me. Didn't agree with my face. I'm just gonna let it do. I just wish Danielle, oh, happy 4th of July, yes. She's so sweet. Definitely watch sometime. One of the most perfect movies of all time. Oh, okay. I'll have to look it up. I'm not sure I've ever watched it. I will, Janet, on the 50s era's kick. I love old Hollywood movies. Bette Davis is a favorite rabbit hole. Okay, what's the name of it again? Baby Jane? Okay, I'll have to look at it. Um, let's see. Oh, let me pop on a little bit of brows and then we're going to finish with the lip and then I'm going to get up close. And you need to tell me, Kat, I'm just clarifying. You said after, right? Look at it. Look at IG after, not now. Some people want me to look at IG right now while I'm on live. And some people are like, just wait till the after live and then look at IG. So I'm just clarifying that. Okay. All right. Black lippy. I'm going to go in with my color pop lippy pencil <laughs> see that's the stuff i cut out whenever i'm doing videos because i'll do that all the time i'll go my black color pop lippy pencil <laughs> so i get to cut those little parts out and all you guys hear is my black color pop lippy pencil <laughs> oh you can look at now it doesn't matter just didn't want to okay to slow me down girl are you trying to say something cat Huh? You trying to say something to me right now? I'm just kidding. Do that. <laughs> I usually like to do this one. When I do black, I usually like to do the lower lip first because it, if I do this, it's going to look like I have a mustache and it cracks me up every time and I can't hardly get through lining my lips when I do that. <laughs> I'm already getting giggly. It's so stupid. I'm just dumb like that. <laughs> you cut it out too. It's probably the real reason why it takes me two days to edit a video. <laughs> I'm always doing stuff like that. A little bit of OCD, so please bear with me. Put the bloopers in. I put the bloopers in and I maybe show it twice in one video. I'm like, let's just play that again. <laughs> oh, I love the smell. It's cake batter. It smells like cupcake batter. Like it smells like, oh, I'm making cupcakes. Let me lick the spoon. That's what this smells like. It's solid, it wears well, it smells good, and it doesn't flake. Like, it is the best black lippy that has ever been made. So if you're watching this, Manny, which I know you won't, because there's no way you're going to watch three hours of me. 
<laughs> like all these other crazy people. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, teasing. Just love it. Just love it. The problem is, is that not too many people wear black. That's the problem. So it doesn't make them a lot of money. So I understand that from a business point of view. But I think everybody should be living their inner goth. Okay. <laughs> You always got to let it dry a little bit whenever you're dealing with colors on your lips. Let it dry. Don't let it hit your teeth. Talk like this for a couple minutes, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, let me get up close. Oh, I didn't do my... You wear black and love it. Yes, you should. You should. You know, why not? I like me good black lippy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think if you can do black well, you have proven out your entire lip line. You've, what? You have proven out your entire lip line. Oh, yes. I see what I get. I, I was thinking lip line. And so I was so confused. Our brains were just on two different wavelengths. I don't do much for my brows. I just put a little bit of powder up in there to kind of fill them out. Because I already have quite a bit of brows. Like they're just blonde. So, you know. I don't like dark brows, so I'm not going to dark them, darken them up much. Um, dark brows on me just looks redonkulous. So you just try to keep it as close to the color as possible and just kind of, you know, straighten them out a little bit, fill them in a little bit. And a little bit of shape, shape, a little bit of shape, shape. Did you just put a period? <laughs> period. That's funny. That's the first time I ever saw that in chat, Janet. So let me just put one little period. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Two periods. <laughs> Keep it going. Nobody mess up. Where's number three? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> Yay. Opto. Thoroughblast. Two threes. Hurry up. Delete the chat. <laughs> That's funny. Y'all are fun. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it's okay. Sorry. After sitting there for a while, my shorts decided to go where they're not supposed to go. Okay, I hope you guys can see the holographic shift, okay? We're going to try. Maybe. Should I take you guys? I've done this one other time. Let's go to, let's unhook and let's go on a trip. You ready? No looking at my basement. Let's go on a trip. Let's, if I need to go outside, we're going to go outside, okay? Hopefully I don't lose contact with you guys. But if I do, it was fun. And thank you for coming and subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. I, well, I'm not teasing if you want to, but I'm going to go in different lights. We're going to, we're going to pick up this holographic goodness somewhere, okay? We can do it. We're going to go on a field trip. 
just I don't look at the mess, okay? If you guys start looking at the mess, we're not going to do field trips anymore. Okay. Let's see out here. Dark. Nope. You guys will have to let me know as soon as you guys see holographic goodness, okay? I think we came out here at one time in this lighting. Did it. Can you see it? All the goodness. <laughs> Go higher. I know you can see the sparkle now, but I'm wondering if you can see the holograph. You guys will have to tell me as soon as you can see it. No judgment. Oh, I have mess. I have mess. And there's a look, there's my um vacuum cleaner. Uh, okay, we're going up the stairs. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hey, if you have me on, please turn me down. We're going on a field trip. Oh, okay. Yeah, so be on your best behavior, people. <laughs> okay. no, thank you. Going outside to see if we can pick up the holographic look. And these eyeballs. Hey, party people. Hey, party people. Oh, this is the first. We've never been outside. Here's my neighbors finding out that I do YouTube. Pick up. Let's go out in the sun. Welcome to the smoker. Yum. You guys want to see what's on the grill? You guys never know what you're going to get when you're on my live streams. Oh, there's, oh, there's just one grill. This is really heavy. Oh, I don't want to drop my computer. Okay, let me go right here. This is redonkulous. I wish you could see what's on my eyes right now. <laughs> Can you see the holographics yet? Definitely getting to see every little crease in my face. Shoot. <sighs> Shoot. What did he say? Turn it into eating life? No, I'm not going to eat until I'm done. Shoot. <laughs> Just appease me. Tell me you see it. Probably my camera, which like I said, I'm carrying my laptop. Mm, whatever. Face the sun. Oh. Okay, we're in the sun. Can you see it now? I'm telling you, when it's on your eyes, you absolutely see it. So I just want you to see it through the camera. You see it finally? Oh my gosh, finally. Here it is, guys, in its glory. <laughs> my neighbors are looking at me like, what the heck is she talking to? And why does she keep doing this to her eyeballs? You can hear the fireworks already. You can see it now. Yay! It makes me want to just sit here and do this I'm like, like a dork out in my <laughs> oh my gosh isn't it gorgeous it's beautiful it was worth the it was worth the field trip correct we're gonna have to tag Lisa and tell her to watch the ending so she can see it for herself because you know when she's making these eyeshadows I'm sure that she's like wanting to make sure that they're perfect for everybody am I oh man I'm getting too I'm getting too far from the house am I still buffering am I still buffering okay guys it's time for me to eat 
and take pictures before I eat off all of this makeup because I got to still get that taken care of. So, oh, that's, it's just freaking stunning. Okay. I love this eye look. And this palette is amazing. So, all right. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go take pictures and then I'm going to go eat some food. You want to say hi, doggies? Say hi, baby. You guys don't get to say hi as much. Say hi, baby. There's Bradley. Hi, Bradley. And Copper. Hi, Copper. Hi, Copper. All right. Oops. Might have flashed you a little bit. That was extra. That cost extra. I'm just kidding. No, hold on. I'll come up. Let me finish this. I'm going to finish taking my pictures. I can't take it. Okay, I'll try. try. Oh, yum. Mm, I'm hungry. Mm, it's good. It's good. Okay. Let me take pictures before I eat off all my makeup. Or my lippy, at least. See, my main room is not finished. But the rest of it's finished. <laughs> okay, guys. That was an adventure. <laughs> See, when you stay the whole three hours and some odd, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. All right, guys. Voila. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Yes, the doggies are squeaky faces. I love them. Um, yes, pictures are going to happen. I always do my up close with the lighting and everything and flash. And I don't, like I said, I don't mess with the all the saturations and color changes. I don't ever do that. But what I do is I use my magnification on my phone. And I will use flash and it just like brings out all the colors. I love it so much. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Y'all are amazing. And if you want to know the deets on this palette, it is limited quantities. I can't stress it enough. And all the deets are at the very beginning. You don't have to watch very far. You can just fast forward to where you want to hear the deets. All the deets are read it off. It's there. This is Friday and limited quantities. That's what you need to know. So, um, all right, guys. I love you all. Thanks for hanging out. I have to be up in six hours. for. Oh, yes. Get some sleep, girl. Sleep. All right, guys. And thank you for all the new people that came to hang out today. That was so much fun. And I'm glad to get to know you guys. And I will be talking to you guys later because I know I have some DMs from everybody in the chat. So I love you guys. All right. Bye. Bye.